us, you know, as you're back in practice, you know, how are you, what is your vision for this team now? Well, the vision is uh, obviously we're, we're looking to improve from last year. I think we failed to make the playoffs, so that's that's something that uh, um, we're not happy about. Right now, um, we had some success in regards to moving players up to the first team, getting looks. Uh, there's four guys that are currently down there, so in that sense, it's a success for uh, for the reserve team to be able to move players up. Uh, however, I think it's important for us to win, win games, and uh, to be more successful in regards um, on the winning column. Um, I thought that the end of the year was imp extremely important. Um, how we ended, I thought we were very, very strong and, and, and did very well, not only uh, at home but on the road. And um, you know, with four or five more games, who, who knows what this team would have been like? I think we peaked just a little too late. Uh, but. That's, that's something that sometimes you, you risk with, with young players, which takes a little time to mature and for them to really get themselves going. So uh, we're hoping to hit that stride just a little bit sooner. Uh, we have some guys with a little bit more experience this year that I think uh, can also help with that. We have guys who are coming back who are not going to take probably as long to adjust uh, as we did last year. So we're hoping that uh, that's, that's, that's going to be an important step for us to take. Coach, uh, this is your third year with the team. You guys closed out the season last season on a high, and now you guys have uh, an, another set of core players returning back. Talk about some of the leadership skills that you guys that you want to see from those guys uh, early on as the season uh, training see preseason is starting, and maybe even early on into the season. Well, I think it's important. I think, you know, some of those guys are, are actually in Houston, too, you know. So it, it's important for those guys to take the bull by the horn, you know, todos, the pun there. But um, making sure that, you know, they um, you know, from day one, uh, we exercise, you know, the culture. We, we want to have a winning culture. We want to have the mentality in training and winning every, every single battle. I thought that, you know, in the last two years, every day that we came to train, we came to train hard. Um, however, I think we need to emphasize more on winning everything, just that winning at all costs, winning no matter what. And I think that's important, you know. Um, obviously, at this point with these guys' young, young careers, they're looking first to develop and, and move to the first team. However, um, you know, we, we, we need to put the team winning first. And, and I think if we do that, we're still going to have players move up, but uh, hopefully uh, we can have more success. The other thing is I think our, our home record is, is very good. It's, it's our away record that's atrocious, and that's something that we need to change. Uh, the mentality has to change, and, and particularly when we go away. Uh, there's also obviously a couple of games that you know we let go here that we you know we we lost too many easy points at home uh, in the last five minutes and stuff you know in regards to closing games out. So that, that's going to be key. What's an aspect of the of your game, the team's game, that you'd like to see improve this year? Um, I, I thought, you know, last year we gave way too many games on, uh, we gave too many goals. I'm sorry, on defensive set pieces. So that was that was poor. You know, we would give up some some easy goals on defensive uh, on defensive set set pieces, and we didn't score enough on the offensive. So I think that's something we need to key on. Uh, the other thing is just making the game a little bit more. I think that. Um, we were extremely comfortable the last eight to ten games of the season in, in regards to controlling the pace and, and, and dictating the pace of the game. I'd like to see that from us a little bit sooner. But that also came with some experience, some of these younger guys just feeling comfortable with themselves as the season progressed. Coach, uh, one of the off-season uh, news that happened is that you lost uh, Brett L Utley to Inter-Miami Football Club. Uh, how important was he to your staff and moving forward? Uh, uh, how do you think you, you, you can adjust uh, moving uh, forward from Brett Utley, one of your assistant coaches? Well, you know, Brett was an important part of this club for sure. You know, he, he was the, the person that, you know, my right hand man and, and, and in regards to doing a lot of things uh, together. But uh, an opportunity to move to the MLS team, you know, was, was, was something that we all hope for. Obviously, our priority is, is, is hopefully to move up to the first team in Houston. But if there's no openings in the first team in Houston and there's an opening elsewhere and someone wants you, it's, it's extremely difficult. Just like uh, these players here are trying to move to the MLS, I think so is the coaching staff. So I, I think that's, uh, you know, it's, it's great for him. He's worked extremely hard. Uh, he's a hardworking uh, individual, very, very dedicated to his craft. And I think he's benefit. you know, he's ripping the, the fruits of that. And so we're very happy, obviously sad to lose him, but extremely happy for him. And, and we hope, you know, we wish him much success. You mentioned Houston and, and working up there. W what were some of the learning experiences that you got uh, early on in Houston that you, you want to continue applying down here? 
you mean this year? Or, yes. or okay, so we were just down there. So uh, you know, we have Tab and, and his staff that are, are that are on board, and so right now, you know, he, he wants to do uh, right now. You know, dictate the tempo. You know, he's extremely offensive minded and and wants to instill that instill that confidence in these players that you know to go forward. Um, and, and you know, he's he's uh, he's got a. Like anything else, anytime there's a coaching change, you know, the new players are going to have new opportunities. I think new players are going to have, um, you know, feel that, okay, you know, maybe we'll be seen differently. Um, so I, I thought the energy was very important. I thought the energy was very good. And that's what you want to see when, you know, whenever you have a, a new season and a new beginning. So that that's important for those guys. Um, I thought, you know, things were very organized. I thought it flowed very, very well. Um, you know, so obviously Tab is, is, is on his way. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of different things that he you know how he wants to do and we're talking about it. So uh, we'll see how that translates to, to us down here.